Hi everyone. Well, I'm just doing a little check-in. I actually made a video a few days ago when it was still a little bit sunny out. <laughs> we had a couple days of sunshine and now we're kind of back to this rather cool for this time of year. Um, just gray, rainy weather. So anyway, I, I did a little garden tour and I was showing you everything that was growing <laughs> but I went to and it's it's still on my bloggy but when I try to um, get it onto my computer no matter what I use there's something that's corrupt about the file so I have to wait and do it another time um, but I just thought I'd check in I'm trying to remember there wasn't a whole lot else that I said on that video um, other than showing the garden. But the garden is doing well. I, I, I still have a lot of digging to do. And as a matter of fact, I have some plants that um, really need to go in, but I have to get the, um, the area dug up for it. So that's kind of frustrating. Um, my clover's looking great, but it's gonna be a, a real pain to mow once this, um, it's getting pretty thick. <laughs> It'll be fine though. Um, I did send off a couple of cyanotype pieces to uh, a, it's called a large postcard show at a gallery up in Philadelphia. So those are off. Um, somebody, a friend today just told me about um, a call for entry. Uh, she's in Texas and this gallery is in Texas, but it was specifically for pinholes. So I sent in a selection of my pinholes. I, I kind of want to just forget about it because, you know, my, it, the calls for entry stuff, especially with regards to photography, I find are, there are a lot of trends. Well, maybe there, maybe there are in artwork in general, but there, but there certainly are in photography. And I have found that if work doesn't really fit into those trends, a lot of times it's just passed over. Um, and my work kind of is its own. But that being said, that's what I want. I don't want to create work just because it fits somebody else's idea of what artwork should be. And, and that's one of the reasons why I've been avoiding calls for entry. Um, but this was rather serendipitous because I had dropped off some files uh, to a printer yesterday. Somebody wanted one of my images and then I thought well you know I need to start printing some of my color pinholes just so I can have them in a flat file and ready to go or a collection of them together to you know show somebody that has a gallery or something um so I I actually did already have some chosen so I just had to add one more to the selection um to I didn't have to add it but you could enter five pieces for the entry fee. Um, so I figured I might as well take advantage of that. Uh, so because it came together like that and somebody the very next friend the very next day sent me this call for entry, I thought, okay, I should let me let me go with this. So that's what I did. Um, and I really want to start working on more cyanotypes. <laughs> but the weather has just been so crappy. It's not been good for doing cyanotypes. And it's, uh, it's still a weird time because I'm still trying to get this garden all going. Um, so that's that. Aikido's been good. I actually made it to the 6 a.m. weapons class today, which is up at a park um, in a different direction than, than where the dojo is. So that was... It's kind of a little feather in my cap because I, I really do like the weapons work and their style is so detailed. There's so many little parts and pieces to it that the more I can practice, the better. 
So I was up really early this morning to get myself over there. And that's, and that's good. That's a very good thing. And the practice in general, I'm really liking, I've got some like major aches and stiffness. See, I can't even bend my head further than this on this side. That's how, that's how stiff this neck is. Um, ow. I got I have to get into a massage therapist and, and my tendons are, I'm warming up my tendons because I was working on some stuff with the track pad and my hands were cold and I could feel the trigger finger kicking in so the warmth feels good. Um, what else is going on? Um, got my hair cut again, was talking to my stylist about uh, makeup for my daughter's wedding so she did like some makeup for me and it was very subtle. Um, so maybe I'll get some. I'm just not. I'm just not really into makeup. I, I have no reason to use it most of the time, and, but I'm still looking for a dress. I still haven't found my dress yet, but there's time. Um, I'm gonna do a creative writing class in June and July at the VMFA. Maybe I mentioned that. I don't know. Um, and. That's about it. A brother of my, one of my brothers, my eldest brothers, can come visit weekend after this one, and that'll be fun. He'll just be here for a couple of nights. Um, and other than that, I was thinking of doing a little solstice party this year, but I don't know yet. I've got a big blog post I want to do talking about Instagram, and that's what I was working on today. I actually did. I selected in grids just screenshots of a bunch of them because I realized I've been on Instagram for five years. Um, I've been on Flickr for this fall. It will be 12 years, I think. So I've probably been on YouTube like eight, about eight years. I, it's like incredible. Of course, I can't believe it's already May. Um, so anyway, so I wanted to talk about my kind of practice on Instagram because for me it, it really is kind of a practice it's it's a way for me to just keep noticing and capturing and keeping my eye sharp um, and it's a good for me um, all these online venues whether it's my blog or YouTube or Flickr or even Facebook, um, they're a good kind of a, a journal for me, especially the visual stuff because I, you know, I like to vi visually journal, but for me it's, it's more like, it's more photography than an art journal. I mean, I do, I do do my, no matter of fact, that's what I have to do today. I keep, I keep up, I write pretty much, well, yeah, I'm, I, I, I was doing every day for a while. I've kind of slacked off, but I have to do that too. Um, so anyway, I wanted to write about that in the blog post, so I need to need to get at that. And we're, we're having another uh, cell go over. There was only one clap of thunder right now um, a couple of nights ago, a couple of days ago, it was like in the afternoon, there was one, there was one clap of thunder that was so loud, it set off my car alarm, which is pretty funny. Um, and that's, I think that's about it uh, for now. I hope everybody had a nice Beltane, and now we're really headed to the summer, uh, although you wouldn't know it here right now. River was up again today. It was it was already, it was back up over nine feet yesterday afternoon, and I went just on my way back from um, the weapons practice this morning, and it was um, it was even higher than when we walked back by there yesterday afternoon, so that's really interesting. And I did notice, looking back on my, uh, what is it, the Facebook memories, it, I think it was like maybe last week or just a few days ago, I had pictures of Avery by the river with it being over nine feet. So I thought, oh, well, it's not that high now. We, we were having storms then, and then here we go. We <laughs> get one and the river goes up again. So, um, all right, that's it. Uh, this is some kind of check-in, even though it's not the, um, oh, not the garden tour, but hopefully I'll, I'll get to that once this weather gets nicer.
and I get my yard in shape because it's it's getting a little bit overgrown out there. Although Avery does like the clover. I posted an Instagram picture of her today chewing on that clover and rolling around in it. So, um, okay, that's all. I will um, talk to you another time. Bye.